Hi, this is Raina from thecheesethief.com and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make this super cute bracelet. This is called Crooked Hearts by Budget Central on Instagram. I'll link to her Instagram below, but you should really check her out. She has a lot of really cool designs and um, pictures. So let's get started. For this tutorial, all you're going to need is two pegs. So you can use a finger loom, a monster tail, a uh, rainbow loom, or just these two pencils like I have, and that's a piece of foam in the middle, and just rubber band together. And I'm going to start off with white. I'm going to take white and then just create an X, like so. Now I'm going to take pink, and this is going to be the color of our hearts. So I'm going to make it the same color scheme as this bracelet right here. And then I'm going to take my white and lift it up and over and then I'm going to take my pink and put it on one peg like so. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Take my pink, put it on top and then on the other side pull that up and over and then pull this side. So that's just the beginning. That's what you should have. Next I'm going to take my white, another one, and I'm going to put it up on top like so. And I take on this side one pink and put it up and over. On the opposite side, I'm going to take both of my pinks and put it up and over. So this is an asymmetrical design, so you're going to not do the same thing on each side. Next, I'm going to take my pink and put it up on top like so. And then on this side, I'm going to take my white and lift it up and over. I'm going to take this pink and put it on that side. I'm going to take another pink and put it up on top. And I'm going to take this white and bring it down on top of this pink like that. So I'm inverting it and putting this pink up on top. So if you are doing this on a monster tail or a rainbow loom, um, you can stick your hook inside the peg and, and pull it up. But since I'm doing it on these pencils, I have to pull the white one down and pink one up and underneath the white one. And now I'm going to take this pink one and pull it up and over on this side. So that's what you should have. Pull this down so you can see. That's what it should look like. Now I'm going to take my white rubber band and put it up on top. And I'm going to take these two pink bands and pull it up and over. So you want to pull two bands, the pink bands from where there's the, between the two white bands. And on this side, I'm only going to pull one pink band up and over. Just always remember the side that has the more the most bands or that is sandwiched between the two white bands is where you pull up both of the bands. And then the other side is always only one band. So now we finished one cooked heart and let's do another one. So now um, we're just going to take this white band and put it up on top and release this this band over there. And that's just part of the begin first heart. Okay, so now that's what we have. Now I'm going to take a pink band and put it up on top. And then on this side, I'm going to take my white band. So this side only has one band, right? This So I'm going to take this white band and I'm going to pull it up and over. The side that has two bands is always going to be the side you invert. So I have this pink band. I put it up on top. And I'm going to pull my white band under and my pink band up and over, like so. And then I'm going to pull my this pink band up onto this side. And now I'm going to take another white band and put it up on top. And like what I said before is the side that has the sandwich between two white bands is where you pull up both of your pink bands. The side that doesn't have that, you only pull up one of your pink bands. And that's how I remember it. So, so next I'm going to take this white band and pull it up onto this left side and then I'm just going to take this white band and release it. 
and then that's another Crooked Heart that we finished. So now we're going to start our next Crooked Heart. So now I'm going to take a pink band and put it up on top, like so. And then on this side, it's just a regular, you just put the white one on, and then you put this pink one back over. On this side is where it gets inverted, just because there's two, so you, you know you're going to have to invert it on that side. So here, I put the pink band on top, take this white band, put it up under, and then put take this one and pull it over, and then pull this pink band onto this side. I'm going to take another white band, put it up on top, and like I said before, this side has more, this side ha is sandwiched between the two white bands, so I'm going to pull both of these up, and only on this side, I'm going to pull one up. I'm going to take this white band, pull it onto my right side, release that one, and then put it back. So you can see, let me pull this over here, and you can see the Crooked Hearts over here. So if I were to end this bracelet right now, what I would do is I would take this white band and then pull it down underneath and then pull this pink band onto this this peg. Then I would take this white band and release it and I would grab a C clip clip this two brace those, those two sides. And there you have your Crooked Hearts. You can straighten this out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please visit me at thecheesethief.com for more tutorials like this. Also be sure to check out Budget Central on Instagram. If you make this design, be sure to tag me. I'm on Instagram too as the Cheese Thief or and tag budget, budget Central. We would love to see your designs and like them. Thank you and have a great day.